Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Instructsign and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 5, Episode 9 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and his Best Laid Plans is the name of the episode. So we start off with uh, the Kree's after people, but then they turn a corner and Max's team takes them out. <laughs> and then uh, Ka then we cut to Cassie is not being happy at all. He's actually pretty furious. And he's planning on leaving, so he's trying to move all the weapons that he collected onto his ship. That's what I'm assuming. And then um, we cut to where Phil talks to Enoch, and they're planning to fly the Zephyr again. And then May found more of Robin's draw um, artwork, and then she gets kind of sad. And then we have a little Felinda moment, which is Phil and Melinda May. I kind of shut them. And um, then we cut to where Dee talks to the guy that tried to that killed Robin and basically his dry, his dad tried to kill him and so that's how Aunt Deke's dad died and Deke does not end up killing him he says we can use him so that's what they do then Cassie sent a messenger to um, Max's team and that was Tess so she is back from the dead okay <laughs> And so uh, Tess warns them and uh, wants Flint or everyone else dies. And then um, basically she tells them how she got, she didn't really tell them how she got revived, but she tells them the stream of pain she was in, but she went through the experience. She was telling them about the experience that happened to her. Then Daisy is concerned about everything that's happening. So she's concerned about the clip that she saw in the what is it that she saw when Deke was doing that side business we're in the um, framework knockoff and she kind of just wants to leave the inhibitor in and not to ever use her powers again and that you know so that way the earth does not blow up into a billion billion pieces and then um then we cut to a zephyr the zephyr has gravitonium in there too so, like, gravitation is spread all over the lighthouse and on the Zephyr, which I think is going to play a major role in what's going to be happening this season. I just kind of got a feeling about that. And then, um, Fis Fitzsimmons are bickering a little bit, and uh, Fitz thinks they're in a time loop, and Simmons says, well, well, let's use this as terminology as to, as we know what to do later on that then it proves that we also get home so the zephyr is trying to take off but the engine blew then max team is being hella irrational everyone wants to go ham on everybody but max is like only voice of reason saying like let's calm down let's think of a plan let's just turn it down just a little bit and so then mac found a bomb and that was part of the um thing that tesla was saying that she that uh concise wants everyone to burn so he opened a panel and saw a thermal bomb which united with oxygen just kind of incinerates everybody so they have a plan to take them all out and so um then deke's team is going to the caves which is you know just um the sh well i guess phil's team so everyone that was um, survivors that got sent to the, uh, the surface of the planet, they're going to the caves to escape. And then we cut back to Matt, talks to everyone, and they want to fight, but he says, no, 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 y'all need to do something else. And Mac, and, like, me and Yo-Yo, or Mac and Yo-Yo will turn themselves in. So that's, that's what he says. And then Tex talks, um, then Tess, talks to Flint and then uh, Simmons got an idea basically what happened was she saw the, gravi uh, the gravity storm come in and that lifted Robin's um, bird uh, that her dad made her up into the air and so she has an idea and it says to cut the anchors everyone used the gravity to lift them up into the stratosphere then use the rear thrusters in order to move around in space and then um, so they're trying to do that and then the last two people get off the ship and someone comes in and that's Sonara so she's on board and 
then we cut to where Cassius talks to Tess and gave him a crystal and a blood sample saying that um, Mac and Yo-Yo took over the, the basically the inhuman lab and we'll blow it up and we'll let everything burn. <laughs> so Cassius obviously wasn't happy with that line. And so uh, they go to go talk to um, Mac and Yo-Yo. So Mac and Yo-Yo are in the lab and they're setting it up to blow it up. Then Coulson got hit on the Zephyr, one of the um, ceiling things, and smacked him in the head. And then the Zephyr um, anchors are stuck, so they can't really release yet. So and then uh, we cut to our Mac and Yo-Yo talk to Cassius, and then uh, Daisy runs into Sonar, so it's Sonar versus Daisy, after she released the anchor. And so the Zephyr is now airborne, and then Sonar versus Daisy in Zero Gravity, which was so cool to watch. Oh my god, I love that scene. That was a great scene. And then um, they, then our artificial gravity got turned back on, so they ended up um, going back to the ground, but they had epic fight scenes throughout. It was really good action sequences, like really, really good. So, uh, the, and then Deke saves Daisy by clawing um, uh, Sonar down, and then uh, then he's he's trying to fight Sonar, but obviously that does not go well because she's green, he's just a human. And so then the gravity kicks back up to um, where they're out of the stratosphere, that out of the atmosphere. And so they get airborne again, and and basically uh, Daisy stabs her with this huge metal pole, and she dies. And so they'll uh, then basically um, we go back to the lighthouse where basically um, Mac and Yo Yo were stalling on Cassius and you know he thought he used to talk a lot so that gave the people on uh, all the other decks to get rid of the thermal bombs and put it on the lower level so uh, basically the um, he, he just kind of threatens and threatens and threatens and he's puffing his chest out and what happens is he um, blows it up that was on the 25th floor and everyone else is fine and then Mac blows up the freaking lab, and that is, and then we just see him, Cassie's in a mount of fury, like he's just furious, he pissed off. And then, uh, then we cut to where um, Yo Yo, well, Mac and Daisy communicate, and everyone's fine, and they're waiting in the docks and stuff. And it turns out, Cassius has a seer too, uh, and that's the end of the episode. And we don't know who the hell that is, so that'll be very, very interesting to see what happens there. And um, I'm very excited. That'll give us an A plus episode. I really enjoyed this episode a lot. I'm super excited for next week. I'm just so excited about the season period, and I hope there's a season six because I will be so excited. This is probably one of my favorite shows to watch, so I love the dynamics, but I feel like they're making Flint, he's like a little too over-eager. That's probably my only gripe about the episode. Um, I know they I understand they want to fight back on all that stuff, but they need to tone it down and be a little bit more rational. And so, um, I'm excited to see what's going to happen for next week, so that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below what you think. And also leave suggestions for other TV shows or movies or music, and I'll check them out. And I want y'all to have a super awesome day, and please subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.